Hello mga kawawmat! Sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin kung paano kunin ang intercepts of rational functions. Intercepts are x or y coordinates of the points at which a graph crosses the x-axis or y-axis respectively. Y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. X-intercept is the x-coordinate of the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. Take note, not all rational function have both x and y intercept because if the rational function f has no real solution, then it does not have intercepts. How to find x and y intercept? To find the y intercept, substitute 0 for x and solve for y or f of x. And to find the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. Okay, for example number 1, we have f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 2. So yung una natin kunin yung y-intercept. Para makuha natin si y-intercept, papalitan lang natin ng 0 yung mga x natin. So, palitan natin yung x natin sa numerator at sa denominator. Kaya maging 0 plus 4 over 0 minus 2. And 0 plus 4, that is 4. 0 minus 2, that is negative 2. So, 4 divided by negative 2, the answer is negative 2. Or, yung pinakamadaling paraan para makuha natin yung y-intercept, that is the quotient of our constant. So, ito yung constant natin. So, pag dinivide nyo lang yan, 4 divided by negative 2, negative 2 pa rin ang makukuha nyo. Yun yung shortcut. So therefore, the y-intercept is negative 2. For x-intercept, makukuha naman yung, yung x-intercept natin, papalitan lang natin yung f of x natin ng 0. So, 0 is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 2. Then, pwede natin to cross multiply. 0 times x minus 2, that is 0, is equal to x plus 4. Then, equate lang natin yung x plus 4 sa 0. So, lipat natin si 4 sa kabilang side. Kaya maging x is equal to negative 4. Therefore, the x-intercept is negative 4. So, another example, we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3. Since meron tayong given trinomials sa numerator and denominator, so, mas maigi na i-factor out nyo. Kasi kung merong common factor, kailangan natin silang i-cancel yan. So, kagaya sa uh, problem na to in this example, so, meron tayong common factor, so, maka-cancel natin yung x plus 1. So, ang maiwan na lang, Yung x plus 4 over x minus 3. So, doon nilang natin isa-substitute yung 0. So, yun di ba yung gagawin for y-intercept? Papalitan yung mga x value ng 0. Since ito na lang yung naiwan, so dyan na lang natin isa-substitute. So, 0 plus 4 over 0 minus 3. And 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. And 0 minus 3, that is negative 3. So, or that is negative 4 over 3. Or, yung sinabi ko kanina, that is the quotient of our constant. So, 4 divided by negative 3, that is negative 4 over 3. So, therefore, that is our y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, so papalitan lang natin yung f of x natin ng 0 is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. Hindi na natin isasama yung x plus 1 dahil makakancel na yan. So therefore, ito na lang ang matitira. So 0 is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3 by cross multiplication. So cross multiply, 0 times x minus 3, that is 0, is equal to x plus 4. So equate lang ulit. So, x plus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to negative 4. So, therefore, that is our x-intercept. Another example, we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 16 over x squared minus 4. So, pag titignan natin, kapag finactor out natin yung denominator natin, wala naman tayo makakancel dyan. So, ang gagawin nyo na lang, I-substitute na lang yung 0 sa mga x natin. So, 0 squared plus 16 over 0 squared minus 4. And that is 16 over negative 4. 16 divided by negative 4, that is negative 4. Or, yung tinuro ko sa inyo, that is the quotient of the constant. So, 16 over negative 4 is negative 4. Therefore, that is our y-intercept. And to get the x-intercept, that is 
0 is equal to x squared plus 16 over x squared minus 4. So, by pag minultiply natin 0 times x squared minus 4, that is 0, is equal to x squared plus 16. So, ang gagawin natin, lipat natin si 16 sa kabilang side. So, negative 16 is equal to x squared. So, i-extract natin to para mawala yung squared dyan. So, kaya magiging x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 16. Dahil meron tayong negative sa loob ng radikan at bawal tayo magkaroon ng ganyan, ibig sabihin, hindi pwede yan. Therefore, there is no real solution for x squared plus 16. Hence, there is no x-intercept. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.